Of course. Now you guys stop. They were just batting the crap out of one another. <laughs> I guess that's one way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Guys, look who came home. Cameron! That's a very nice welcoming hello face. And now it's officially creepy. <laughs> My eyes are all weird now. Are they? Yeah. Oh, That's what happens. That was weird. I um, have spent a lot of the day, you know how Cameron has his geek out times when he geeks out on his computer? Yeah, I geeked out on this journal. <laughs> Basically, um, this journal is for mops, my uh, thing that I do every other Thursday. Um, it's for, it stands for mothers of preschoolers. I don't have a kid yet, but I'm going to soon. So You, you don't have a kid yet? No, I'm not yet. Where did you where did you think I, I stored him? Him or her? Have it? <laughs> okay. Have I mean I'm pregnant, but like she's not here yet. So it's like I don't have a kid, so like I can't really relate a ton to all these women, but I can learn from them and I, you know, can get to know them and then during the whole season of me having her you know I can have support and I can you know get to know and hear about other stories with moms and blah 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 okay, and I was like yeah I'm gonna like make my own I'm gonna decorate it you know like whatever and then Marcy our table leader or like our group leader I don't know what uh, she's and she's like hey girls we're like oh hi how are you you know and she sets a bunch of these journals down they all are decorated differently and she was like I made all of these for everyone and I was like you read my mind because I legitimately like five minutes ago just said that I wanted to like make my own and like <laughs> design it all pretty um so she did the work for me <laughs> and um so I picked out the one that I wanted and that was this one I haven't gotten a chance to get it all organized and set up yet but I have now. It took me a lot of the day, actually. I was on and off working on it because I was also editing videos and blah blah blah. But um, I feel good about it. I have every week so far, we've only had three meetings, but I've written down um, the lessons and what I've learned and what I took from it. This past week we got this really cool paper and it has a Bible verse on it and it's a verse she broke it down for us and she took us through all of it and we got to um, to really understand what this verse meant and if you guys aren't interested in the Bible or um, anything like that then uh, I'm very sorry here to offend anyone this is just something that that I'm going going through I really enjoyed the lesson that we learned from it so now he's finally home from work today's been a long day kind of but not and it's been relaxing but um, I've been doing a lot. So. Danielle decided that it was creepy and decided that it would be appropriate to grab my memories and twist them. Okay, do you know why I did that? Because I looked at her like this. Cameron, that is not a true statement. Don't listen to him, people. Listen to me, people. I mean, I personally think of more, I think of you more than people. Apparently Danielle thinks of you just as they are Careful. people. Careful, she's gonna just, she's gonna grab your memories and twist. No, that's only you. Naming tomorrow's video, Grab Your Memories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's breast, can it's breast Cancer Awareness Month, so you should, it is? yeah, you should grab your memories and make sure everything's okay. Cook faster. I'm, I'm excited for that piece of pizza. That one's a little weak, but that one's got all the goodies on it. See Danielle's reflection in the really dirty. Boo. Good morning. Yeah, that's, that's still a dark hallway. Is a slender man out there? Oh, no, maybe? You think so? 
Slender Man out there? Should we close should we close that door? We should. Yeah, should we? Should we close the doors? Would we be would we be safer? I think I think that's what she's trying to tell me. Would we would we be safer if that door was closed? Did you hear Rascal? She sounds like a dinosaur sometimes. Sometimes she does. <gasps> No, we can't do it. I'm not a cat. I'm not. Someone's looking online right now, or I don't know who's looking up the news. Were you looking up the news? Yeah. And um, he found that there's this in space. Where at? It's in the Milky Way. It's in our solar system. Scientists have found a just kind of like a rogue star, I guess, and it's traveling around. Um, a black hole, which is within itself is pretty cool, but then the thing that caught my eye was it's going 3,100 miles per second. This is nerdy me. <laughs> um, in one minute, the, that star will go 186,000 miles. In an hour, it'll go 11,160,000. Miles. That's insane. And the, we figured out the Earth is about 25,000 miles around. Uh, somebody's saying that the exact amount is 24,859.82 miles. So by plane, uh, averaging at about 480 miles an hour, which is roughly what planes do, that takes you 51 hours to go from, you go like north to south, if you will, around the poles. Uh, of the world, it'll take you 51 hours. So, once. And that's in a plane. To go around the world once. once. Right. So I took that number, the 51 hours, and uh, that came out to 569,160,000 miles that that star will travel in uh, 51 hours, which equals a, a complete rotation of Earth of 22,895 times it would rotate around, the, it, would, it would orbit the Earth. 22 what? 22,000 times? 895 times. In what? 51 In... hours. Good God. Yeah, so just to give you an idea, so like. <laughs> That's how freaking fast it's you going. And I, when we're, we're, we're traveling in a plane, we are flying at one over you know, 22,895. 3,100 miles per second would be from Los Angeles oh, right. to Augusta, Maine. Every second. Like, so you, you would traverse this entire continent once every second. Every second. You'd go from Los Angeles to Maine every second. single second. Uh -huh. Well, it's bedtime, guys. I don't know if you can tell, can tell or not, but... I'm in bed. I'm like snuggled up like Cameron has tucked me in. You've tucked me in. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tuck her in. That, I just felt it was kind of weird. That, that did not happen. Go to bed. And I think we're both going to go to bed. Are you ready for bed? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready so for ready. bed. Um, so I was ready for bed two hours ago. You were. It was like a little after eight. And he was like, I want to go to bed. And I was like. But in my defense, I have had a very, very long week. Yes. You have. Yeah. So sick. Good night. Did it kind of look like I didn't say anything? Kind of. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Good night. <laughs>